Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to part 12, finally, for my basic RPG series. Uh, in this video, we're going to fix one of the minor issues with the sprites in our game and the way that we handle the sprites, and we're going to prepare for uh, the next video as well. So you're going to see if I can... Currently in the game, I can move almost straight down and he's still facing left. Which uh, looks really weird and then it's also bad when I'm attacking because it feels like I should attack up. But he's actually kind of attacking sideways instead. <laughs> and it just doesn't look very good. So we're going to fix that in this video. The first thing that you'll need to do is come into your object and we need to have a variable inside of our player object that keeps track of the direction that we're facing and basically actually it's the direction that our sprite is facing so there's only four of those directions right the sprite can either be facing left up right or down so come into the player open up the player object and inside of the create event for the player we're going to create a new variable inside of here called face for the direction that the sprite is facing and I'm gonna set it equal to zero now this variable will be either set to zero actually what one other thing we're gonna learn about here instead of setting it to zero well it'll be either set to zero one two or three because those are the four directions that we need but what you're going to do is you're going to come down into this tab down here called macros and double click on the one that says default. Now a macro is kind of like a variable that except that it's not a variable at all because they don't change. Once you set a macro, it will contain that value for your entire in the game the entire time. So we're going to name this one right and we're going to set it equal to zero. Now I use all capital letters just so that I know that this is a macro and not a variable. It helps me distinguish between the two. So now we're going to do up and we're going to set that to one. Left, oops, left. We're going to set that to two and down and we're going to set that to three. So now we have these macros that are set up, right is zero, up is one, left is two, down is three. We've got all of those macros set up and we can use them. So press the green check mark OK. Now come back into our create event here where we initialize the direction that we're facing. And instead of having this be zero, we're going to change this to right. And you can see that it highlights as well. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we need to write a little script. And this script is going to help us to be able to use the direction that the, the, the player is facing to get the facing direction. And I'll show you a cool little way we can do that. So let's create a new script. We'll call this script get face. Script get face. Okay, so our player already has a direction variable that we've created. You can see inside of the player, we've got direction right here. It's set to zero. So we're going to use that variable because it changes based on what, where the player is moving and which, which direction he's playing, moving. So we're going to say face is equal to direction divided by 90. Okay. So why are we dividing by 90? Well, if we divide it by 90, that's going to split up 360 directions or 360 degrees uh, into um, four main quadrants, I guess you could say, because if you divide 360 by 90, you get four. So the problem with this is we're going to get values like uh, 0.5 and 1.7 you know because if you divide 90 by 1 you're going to get 1 but if you divide 89 by 1 or 89 by 90 sorry you're going to get some value like point you know uh, a, a low value basically so what we want to do is we also want to round this round 
Now it's only going to give us um, 0, 1, 2, 3. Oops. Yeah, 0, 1, 2, 3. But it's also going to give us 4 because if we get you know, if we get to 360 and divide by 90, we're going to get 4. Or even just close to 360, it's going to round up and give us 4. And so we want to make sure that we never get a 4, that 4 is facing to the right, so that should always be 0. So we're going to say if face is equal to 4, face equals right, because which is actually 0. Okay? So this just takes our direction and converts it into either a 0, a 1, a 2, or a 3. And that's really useful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our move state. And inside the move state, um, down here where we're controlling the sprites, uh, you can see vertical sprites, horizontal sprites. We're going to get rid of these two things. You can, you can keep the image speed equals 2. If length is equal to 0, image index equals 0. You can keep that. But right here, what we're going to say is we're going to say um, script get face. We're going to call that. And we're going to do a switch statement. We've learned a lot about these. And we're going to switch over the face variable. And we're going to change sprites based on the direction that we're facing. So we can do case right. And then you would change the sprite, break out of it, do case up. But I'm going to actually have this be a mini challenge um, because it's good practice for you to try and remember how to do switch statements. Remember the syntax or the way that they're set up, the way that they're structured. It's a little tricky, so I'm going to have you pause the video and do a mini challenge right now. Try and set up the different cases for changing uh, the sprites right here on your own. OK, great job. Let's do I'm going to step you through it just in case. Sprite index equals sprite. Player right. Break. Case. Sprite index equals sprite, player up, break, case, left, sprite index equals sprite, player left, <coughs> not down, break, let's make sure this is maximized here so you can see it better, case, down, And you can see the cases that we're using are actually the macros that we created, right? So that's really kind of useful because it makes it more readable instead of 0, 1, 2, 3. Now it's right, up, left, and down. It's more readable that way. Sprite index equals sprite player down. Break. Okay, now let's run our game and see how this works. And I just want to say that I do apologize that this video took a while to come out. Um, I've been kind of sick the last couple of days, and then I ended up having some issues with the recording it the first time, uh, which is basically just that I had Pandora playing in the background, but I didn't know it because my headphones were plugged into my computer, but I wasn't listening to them. And then uh, YouTube muted all my volume, and I had to go back and undo all the stuff that I did and re-record the video and it's kind of a pain so thanks for your patience so now you can see if we're running up and we go just a little to the right it still shows the up and we should only change about exactly on the 45 degree angle for each each direction you can see there you go and then of course this will all still work with the keyboard but you'll also notice that now every time we let off we face to the right which is kind of annoying. We don't want to do that. We don't want to face to the right. So how can we fix that? Let's go back into our move state. So we're getting the face right here. But the problem is when you're, when you're not moving, your direction is always going to be 0. 
when you're not moving, which faces to the right. So what we can do is we can only get the direction that we're facing right here. We can only call the script get face when we're moving. Now we know that we're moving um, right here in this if statement because if x as x axis is equal to zero and y axis is equal to zero should be a double equals right there actually um <clears throat> not super critical but that is it's good form wise to do that then our length is equal to zero this means we're not moving else the else means we are moving so we're going to put that in here script get face inside of the else of the check for both of them being equal to zero instead of down here and I'm actually no that's fine yeah so now when we run the game we should have that fixed where we don't have the weird um, direction thing going on um, at the about at 45 degrees it switches sprites which makes sense and feels a lot nicer when we start moving up it feels like we're moving up it's just quite a bit nicer that way and if we stop any direction that we're facing he stops he doesn't face right anymore makes sense so there you go uh, hopefully this video was helpful helpful to you this is a little bit of preparation work for setting up the sprite system um, better so that we don't have to have stuff you know like in our attack state right here we've got we've got two switch statements that are kind of huge and kind of a pain so what I'm going to show you guys how to do is the setup that we did today is going to build into the next video that that I record um, and and we'll be able to simplify our code a little bit more uh, and make it easier to use and easier to read so it's a little bit of setup but it also fixes a glitch that was in our game so thank you guys so much for watching if you learned something, be sure and like it, favorite this video, share it on Facebook and Twitter, and I will talk to you guys later.